During the 1940s, many of the legendary musicians who shaped the blues and created some of the first rock and roll and country music records would come here to the back alleys of West Memphis and play at some of the more than 30 nightclubs that were here at the time. In fact, West Memphis was wide open for entertainment. Memphis musician Rufus Thomas called it the Las Vegas of the South, if you can believe that. It was during that time in February of 1947 when radio station KWEM went on the air and was instrumental in jumpstarting the careers of many of those legendary musicians. I'm on TV. Like Taylor Swift. I love playing basketball. It's a good way to exercise. I don't remember. Oh. My mom makes me. She's the head coach. I just love it. It's a place where you can learn about basketball. Miss Lindsay is one of the best coaches I've ever had. This is all about fun. You might be a little nervous. Feels like it was yesterday. I love basketball. Um, I played for the Harmony Grove Lady Cardinals, and it's always been a passion of mine. We're going off roading on this segment on the ATV trails at Fairfield Bay, which lead to some pretty spectacular waterfalls. Come along with us for the ride. Oh, yeah. If you're an antique and classic car buff, then you need to go on a little ride with us to the shop of John Hollingsworth in Hot Springs Village and let us introduce you to Holly Classics. Oh yeah. <laughs> So John, how many years worth of collecting are we talking about here? Oh, probably 25 years. Uh, we've been here in the village for about 30 years and, mm -hmm. and we started collecting uh, about the time we came here, started restoring a car or two and we just kind of buy and sell one every once in a while. Unbeknownst to many, the Mulberry River in the Ozark National Forest is a nationally designated wild and scenic river. The Mulberry is one of those hidden treasures uh, of Arkansas that's becoming more well known. But whenever you see uh, the Mulberry River Society put in this kind of an access point, it's going to increase its usage and enjoyment by so many people in Arkansas and across the nation. Chef Chris Sheeran oversees one of the most enchanting restaurants on the Emerald Coast. His easy style, grace and good taste is reflected in the menu of the grill at Silver Shells and the comfortable resort feel. This is a small and intimate restaurant, a perfectly delicious escape from the ordinary. Our philosophy at the grill on a dining experience is simple, fresh, consistent food and to have a very well-trained staff in the front of the house. Lee Creek Reservoir Recreation Area is kind of a, you could say, a well-preserved top secret location here, it seems, in the Van Buren area. We had to go through several people before we could even find this place. 
But I tell you what, this is really neat. It's got hiking trails, mountain bike trails, and a really nice fishing pier over there, which we're gonna get to later. Upon entering the parking lot, immediately to your right, you'll see the trailhead sign. I always knew I wanted to go to a university that had music um, that I could choose to sing or play piano or whatever it may be. I would recommend a public university for choosing music. Uh, for me, it was really I wanted a, a well-rounded education. I didn't just want music classes all day, every single day. And I was really able to do that here, and I feel that that has made my singing even better and my music more whole. Hello, my name is Chef Tim Crean. I'm chef owner of the Beachwalk Cafe in Destin, Florida. 